हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट्यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस व्हॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फायब्रॉइड मॅपिंग इन आय बी एफ नाव वी नीड टू नो दॅट व्हॉट इज द मॅपिंग ऑफ फायब्रॉइड्स फॉर दिस लेट अस अंडरस्टँड अँड टेक अ सिम्पल एक्झाम्पल डोंट वी यूज गुगल मॅप्स टू रीच द लोकेशन्स इट इज सो इझी गुगल मॅप्स will enable us to reach our destination in the shortest period of time and it is now so much in use and so much in vogue even by our rickshaw taxi walas right up to the navigation in aeronautics so whenever a patient of ivf or test tube baby has multiple fibroids the shortest possible route for surgery and the safest possible is decided by a technology which is quite recent which is known as fibroid mapping what is done is whenever the patient has multiple fibroids in the uterus a map of the uterus along with all the fibroids their location their size and their extent in the endometrium is all mapped with the technology like sonography or advanced technologies like mri once the fibroid map is obtained now we need to give this baby to the lady who is having multiple fibroids with test tube baby and before that we need to remove her fibroids and make our area clear so in these patients who are posted for test tube baby we cannot remove each and every fibroid if it is compromising on the mass of the uterus which is important for carrying the pregnancy for 9 months so in this fibroid mapping mainly three types of fibroids are mapped the fibroids which are over the surface of the uterus that are subserosal fibroids which need not be removed unless they are as huge as 4 5 cm second category is intramural fibroids which are in the skin of the uterus which is actually going to expand for 9 months and enable the patient to carry the pregnancy so these fibroids have to be removed the third category is the subendometrial fibroids which are the most important fibroids which are actually in the way of the baby implanting to the uterus so they have to be removed so once the map is obtained it eases out and facilitates us to design the individual protocol for that particular patient to decide the surgery before a laparoscopic myomectomy once the plan of the surgery is decided it becomes extremely easy and safe and effective for the patient once the surgery is done we wait for 3 months and then start the test tube baby procedure we've had lots of patients having as large as 12 and 15 fibroids in the uterus conceiving with ivf after this kind of fibroid mapping following the surgery and then followed by the test tube baby technology and giving successful live births thank you